All right, so this is our motor and this is our battery, and we know that if we switch the uh, connections on the on the battery, we can change the direction of the motor. But all we can do right now is put the motor in some sort of a housing and have it run around, and then we have to manually change everything. So what we want to do based on our our goals or objectives for this project was we want to be able to control the motor and uh, have it turn and, and turn on and off and go backwards and forwards when we want it to. So what we've done is we've selected a microcontroller. This is called, uh, this particular one is called an Arduino Uno. And you can get these online. I, I got this particular one for about $20. There are variations that you can get that are as, that are as cheap as uh, 10 or $12 all the way up to uh, you know, seventy or eighty dollars, depending on what you uh, what you want it to do and how much work you're willing to do to uh, to put the board together. So this one comes pre-assembled. It's ready to go. It's got the connector for your computer, so it's it's easy to use. And that's why I, I selected this particular one. Uh, so Arduino is an open source microcontroller, and it comes with a uh, an online or it comes with a compiler so you can download the compiler and uh, write your code upload it to the Arduino and cause your your robot to, to move and do different things so the Arduino can take information from sensors and uh, use that information to tell parts of the robot what to do so we know we've got a motor that moves and we know we have a power source and we have brains to make it move but there's an issue we can't hook the motor directly to the Arduino because the Arduino wants to run on a lot less current than what the motor wants to run on. So the motor is going to burn the Arduino out. We have to have a way to switch the, uh, the high current of the motor, control it. In other words, a way to turn the high current on and off and, and a way to uh, 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 control the direction of that high current, the polarity of it, uh, without uh, directly affecting the the Arduino so we need another another device to do that and that device is called a motor controller so we I've already built this motor controller up and I'm going to show you how to make it uh, it's a solar botics motor controller and I'll talk a little bit about what it does so it basically controls the speed and direction of our motor and so it switches the the higher power of the batteries and it allows more current to flow um, and it takes signal information from the Arduino, which is a low voltage, low current signal. And so the low voltage, low current comes into the motor and controller and says, hey, turn the motor on in this direction. And then the motor controller lets power from the battery flow through the motor controller to the motor without damaging the Arduino. And so it lets us uh, run the, the motor on a, a higher amount of power than we could if we tried to run it through the, through the Arduino itself. So the way it does that is uh, signals come from the Arduino and they go into these little ports here and uh, those ports are, uh, the, the signals are interpreted by this logic chip here which is a uh, L298 chip and that, that allows us to uh, control the power going from the battery to the motor. Now there's also a chip here, this is a 5 volt power supply, regulated power supply chip and this allows us to take 5 volts out of the motor controller to power the Arduino. So we can take that 5 volts out from this terminal block right here and connect it to the Arduino. So uh, this also allows us to run multiple uh, different voltages. So the motor is going to be pulling 12 volts from the batteries, but the Arduino will be pulling only 5 volts from this supply here. So then we also have these diodes on board, and the diodes are their flyback diodes, and they prevent voltage from coming back from the motor and damaging other parts of the circuit. And uh, when you stop a motor fast or when you reverse its direction, you can get a pulse of electricity come, that comes back down the line and can affect other parts of the board. So because diodes act as valves and only al allow the electricity to flow in one direction, it protects your, your board. Uh, so then we also have uh, some resistors here. You can see these resistors. Uh, these two resistors are designed to protect the LEDs here. And the, uh, these LEDs are light emitting diodes and they indicate the direction or the polarity of, of the current. And that will indicate the direction the motor's turning. So uh, that's what they're there for. And these resistors protect them from um, getting too much power and, and burning out. And then we have a little tiny uh, capacitor here that's a high frequency filtering capacitor. And then we have an electrolytic capacitor and that probably uh, helps to smooth out some of the variations in current. We have two more resistors back here uh, and they uh, protect various aspects of, uh, of our, our chip back here, I believe.
So we have our terminal blocks and these terminal blocks, that's where the power goes. So the motor will be connected to the terminal block. This motor will be connected to the terminal block like that. And um, the uh, power from the battery will come into the terminal blocks here. And I'll show you how to connect all this and wire it up. And uh, the next video, we're going to build this little guy and show you how it, how it works.